GameSpot viewers, GameSpot readers, I'm Kevin Van Ord, and I'm sitting here with Peter Brown. Hello. That's, that's it? That's, that's just it. A, just a hello? <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, hey, that, there you go. At least that's a little <laughs> bit more energetic. And I am here because I wanted to show off this game that's currently in closed beta called Smite. You're probably wondering, why should I care about Smite? Well, if you care about MOBAs, then you probably will end up caring about Smite, because this is, again, it's a multiplayer online battle arena, so if you're familiar with Defense of the Ancients, Dota 2, League of Legends, what else? Monday Night Combat, Awesome Knots, awesome uh, Heroes of New Earth, then this is a genre that you probably know. But, you know, like most games that are coming out in the genre... Oh, Demigod. There you go. I missed okay. another one. But like uh, many games in the genre, um, this has a twist. And the twist in this is that instead of seeing it from the overhead clicking view that most games in the genre take, um, you, you play it from a third-person perspective instead. And so what does that change, you know, in terms of the gameplay, like your, the overall system? Does the perspective really have that much of an impact? It doesn't I imagine change it would. The, the structure, but it, it does change kind of the way you feel involved in the proceedings. Like, I feel like I have a lot more control over, for example, if I have, if I'm being attacked, um, if I have a ranged attack coming at me and I see the visual indications that I'm about to die, um, then I can get out of the way. You have an extra dimension to move. Yeah, I feel like I can get out of the way a lot quicker. You know, I can I can strafe. I can do all the sorts of things that you would imagine in a third-person action game. Um, the only difference, of course, being that well, not the only difference, but you know, <laughs> this being in a genre um, in which that can actually mean life or death. Obviously, yeah. you you want to you want to be a team player when you play a MOBA. Um, and I I'm already in a queue, um, so I'm in the solo queue, which means it will put me in with certain players. Usually, it doesn't take too long. You can already see that there are a lot of matches in progress, 105 matches in progress, even though this is a closed beta and 139 waiting. But the good news is that while we, while we wait to get into a game, we can browse some of the gods that you play. And these, these gods, yeah, these gods are, are from different mythologies. And so these are the characters that you, that you play as when you play Smite. Um, this isn't a full list. And ultimately, once this list is populated, you'll you'll actually be able to buy more. Um, or if you pre-order, then you can get um, then you can get additional and... gods uh, as opposed to having to spend you know real money and so on okay. once you get it. So not exclusives though, just kind of yeah. I don't think it's ex I don't think that's exclusive, but I think it does come with the with the, the you know the, the full price yeah. if you pay it. But otherwise, this is a free to play game. Okay. Um, and like many free to play games, there are microtransactions that you'll be able to to participate in. So, for example, ultimately you'll be able to buy new skins, um, and you'll also be able to, to buy other things that are not yet in the closed beta, such as shrines and so on. But here you can sort of go in and see the details, and I, I chose uh, Sun Wukong not for any particular reason, it just happened to be what I clicked on, but this monkey god is easily my biggest nemesis in this game. Um, How come? Uh, well, one of his abilities is... I'll accept that. But one of his abilities um, uses fear against you, and so if you get caught in fear, then you lose control over what you're doing right, for yeah, a few yeah. moments. And it's it's mighty disconcerting. <laughs> and so that particular that particular uh, ability always tends to, to get me. What, yeah, like in Final Fantasy, what is it, confusion or something? When you take on confusion, it's like, oh god, <laughs> you're going to attack yourself and yeah. heal your enemy. <laughs> and when, whenever it's happened, um, a few times. Somebody's left the match lobby, so it's probably going to have to... Oh, match is ready. Fail. Hopefully it'll find somebody new. <laughs> Usually when the match when the, the matchmaking fails, here we go, it, it tries to get me into a new one because it, it grabs a new player. Because usually that means somebody's dropped out of the queue. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to be handing out codes a little bit later today, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll hand out... Watch our Twitter feeds. Um, the GameSpot Twitter feed, my Twitter feed. I'm FiddleCub on Twitter. Your PC Brown. I am. Um, but you're not giving away any codes as it happens. That's not the plan just yet. No, not yet. But I have shot. I've given codes to Sean McKinnis, um, who is S. McKinnis, Carolyn Pettit, um, who is uh, Carolyn Michelle, um, and of course the GameSpot Twitter comes well. Oh, and Chris Waters, who is C. T. Waters, spelled W. A. T. T. E. R. S. <laughs> and so here I've chosen Al Kwong, who is probably my favorite god to play. Um, in part, he's got this cyclone effect, which is which is pretty great. Um, but he also has another attack where um, I can crush uh, opposing players in in one go if I if I time it right and if I get them in the in the cone. 
And so, the trade-off, if you don't time it right, is? The trade-off is that there's a 90 second cooldown. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get a lot of chance to, yeah. to do that. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna preface this by saying, I am not a hardcore MOBA player by any stretch. I am sure that there will be people out there saying, this guy sucks. And you might be right. I got lucky <laughs> last night, my, my final match ended up being um, 11 kills, one death. So I, it's, it's not good. that I, I'm usually too bad, but it, sometimes it, it just depends on how well I'm doing. So even though we're not gonna see you on the MLG circuit, that doesn't mean that you don't know what you're doing. Sometimes, sometimes I can do pretty well. Now here, what we've got, this is a Phoenix. Um, ultimately, as the, the opposing team comes into your base, which you see here, um, then th they win um, by killing our Minotaur, who will come to life and, and attack Defend back. Yeah. yeah, so it's basically a living base. Um, but they also have to go through my Phoenixes. And, of course, the towers. Is that typical of MOBAs, to have a, a living base, as you put it? Not typical, no. Yeah, okay. Um, and in between rounds, of course, then I can go ahead and... Uh, and buy new powers. Right now, for the sake of the stream, I have it set up to auto-buy powers when I return to the base for me, um, and to, or to auto-buy items and to auto-upgrade my powers. And so I'm going to go ahead and take the left lane. I don't hear any game sound, do you? I don't even have headphones. Yeah, I know you don't have headphones, <laughs> so I don't know why I'm asking. But uh, in this case, Al Kuang has these great... Uh, there we go, now I hear game sound has these great ranged attacks. He's he's magical as opposed to physical. And minions have spawned. I didn't really need to come up here, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of sort of what the game looks like. And if I go out of the lanes and off the beaten path, then there are then there are creeps out there that I can kill. And for, for killing those collection of creeps, then in turn, then I can get health bonuses, other bonuses, and so on. And I am on an uneven team. There are only four of us. Let's get back to this killing of creeps, huh? Killing of creeps, right? <laughs> so you are you. I hear that you actually have some get some joy out of that. Kind well, of thing. I live in a neighborhood that's let's say uh, there's no shortage of creeps to be. Well, killed. we live in the same neighborhood. <laughs> that's true. It's worth pointing out. That's true. <laughs> You're, so, you're sort of a new denizen, though. I, I've, I've had my fair share of opportunity to uh, oust creeps, as it were. So I'm feeling kind of screwed um, because I'm alone in the lane, and... And so did, did you summon these these buddies of yours, or are they just... These, are, these are minions that, that automatically spawn. Okay. You get, like, a, a grip of them? That's, well, they, that's the they do their measure. thing. They just go down the lane. They, they do their auto-attacking. And my problem is that, I mean, I don't have a teammate down here to help me out, um, which is which is a problem. And what I really want to do is be able to go back to the base, take care of my upgrades, and I don't have anybody to really handle, keep a handle on things while I'm gone. But one thing I do like about Al Kuang and playing as Al Kuang is, is that it, he sort of fits my playstyle preference, um, which is I sort of like to go in, do some damage, and get out. And one of those things is I can I can sort of get out of the way fast with that particular power. Which power gets gets you out of the way quicker? Uh, let me see what the name is. Slither is the name of it, I think. And it gets me out of the way. But uh, see now I what I really want to do is go back to with upgrades. Now again, like I said, I have auto buy items and uh, auto upgrade on just for the sake of keeping keeping things in but uh, in between matches um, next time I go into a match I'll sort of pull up the buy menu so you can see the things available and it really sucks that now we've got an uneven team I don't really want to be stuck in the left lane alone especially because I don't have my fourth ability um, yet which is spirits tempest which is uber powerful in the right <laughs> circumstance My Cyclone is better for groups, you know, groups of minions, and if I get an, if I get a hero player in there, then all the better. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that.
So this is in beta, right? Do this you know, is in closed beta. Do you know? So it's probably still the release is probably still a few months away. You said perhaps run some balancing issues between a few of the guns. I I have run into some things where it, where it does feel like either I'm overpowered or my enemy's overpowered. But part of that could be whether you choose um, more of a support god or or True. direct damage. Yeah. So for example, sometimes when I'm playing as Artemis, who is an archer. I don't know that I feel that I'm really all that much help. Oh, see, I missed him with my super, my super duper attack um, because I probably could have done a one-shot kill that way. But the good news is at least I can keep people busy in this lane. You know, even if I've got only one one opponent out there, I can at least keep him busy in, in that in that lane. Although I am gonna head back to base. And if you're watching us on Twitch TV at twitch.tv slash gamespot, um, we've now got your chat open, or at least we're trying to get it open <laughs> um, while it uh, while it loads up, and you'll be able to to ask questions, throw in some comments, and so on and so forth. So far, I'm holding my own, but I I'm not really a huge asset right now. It's it's me and an, and an opposing hero sort of meeting in the middle, and it, and it does suck that we are. How many different maps are in the, the beta? I've only encountered one. I believe it's only one right now. So do you ever, do you ever uh, flesh out the teams with like, you know, AI controlled gods? Or, uh, Shoot, I missed there again, but I did at least do some damage to the one dude, so... Um, the, there is a sort of a tutorial. And that tutorial pits you against an AI god. But that's that's pretty much just a but that's lighter, it. There's lighter no, part of it. The yeah, there's yeah. no filling out these particular matches. Yeah. An enemy has been slain. I highly doubt that I'm going to show my elite skills like I did in yesterday's match with the uh, with an unbalanced uh, match but uh hopefully at least I won't embarrass myself So it seems that you've stuck to this one lane pretty much I the have. whole time. Is that personal choice, or is that kind of well, right now? Well, it's partially per personal choice, but it's also part of the strategy in the sense that I, I want to, like, while my teammates group up and, and carry down, if I can at least hold my own, then I can keep the guys over here busy. Yeah. And I'd consider that at this point in time, a triumph. Because <laughs> they are slaying enemies. So, but on the other hand, we are, we are being slain as well. In the meanwhile, the auto buy is getting me things like Boots of the Magi, Breastplate of Valor. Um, so I'm getting some physical protection, I'm getting some speed. For me, speed is important with Alquam because I want to get in there, I want to do some damage, and I want to get out. tower is under attack. Do you auto-regen health? Okay. You... Uh, um, no. But yes, it depends on how, you, how you're <laughs> equipped. Oh, okay, okay. Again, I, I kind of wasted that, but... I think you get some dudes. Yeah, but it's a, it's a waste with minions. Oh, okay. Because they're already good enough. Yeah. But at least they're staying busy. In the meanwhile, I'm trying to to stick as close to the tower as I can. Because obviously, um, if, if they come close, my tower will start to attack. So 
Oops, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit one, I hit two, so now I'm super sped up. But that's alright, I can get back to the tower looking split. And now I have somebody along. Somebody along for the ride. What's the split right now? You've got four guys in your team? Do they have four on there as well? It looks like actually we've got a full team now. So again, you're watching uh, Smite stream on GameSpot, and you might be watching us on GameSpot.com, you might be watching us on Twitch.tv, um, in the GameSpot channel. Either way, we're glad you're here. If you are in the Twitch stream, feel free to, uh, to talk, ask questions, tell me how much I suck, Yeah, Kevin's and I'll be happy to... And I'm, you know, I'm here to watch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Rio Tinto 876 says, Oh, Kevin, you aren't very good at this, are you? <laughs> You're making that up. Nobody's even saying anything at all in oh, that. No, no. <laughs> not in Twitch, not GameSpot. Okay. I may not be the best mobile player, but I'm not bad. I haven't, I getting... haven't died. My teammates have died, but I'm yeah. getting in there, getting some damage in, and getting out. I might actually. You are contributing without feeding, as they would say. Yeah. And I might take some time, once I get up here, pull off my... If I can pull it off... Uh-oh. Somebody's Your gone offline. Is under attack. Oh, man! Again. So you said that Carolyn, Sean, and Chris Waters will be giving away That's right. codes? And you as well? And me as well. And the GameSpot official account. Okay. Some people on Twitch are asking. And don't tell me I'm bad. I just uh, I went ahead and, and slayed an enemy that was over there uh, killing creeps. So every so often I hold my own in a MOBA. Again, I'm not... Uh, I'm not a hardcore mobile player, but I do like the genre, and I played a lot of League of Legends and a lot of Demigod. I think you guys are dominating this map right now. Pretty not close, bad pretty for close having, to it anyway. Not bad for having started with uh, uneven teams. And yeah. To quickly. Luckily, my cool attack is, has been slain. is back. And you see, down to half health, just with the one. That was your one shot. Yeah, that was yeah. that was uh, Spirit's Tempest. An Easily my favorite. So they say, might want to point out that a high-res employee is bailing me out there. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> I don't think, I, I think um, he's helping us keep the matches even. I don't, I don't think I'm being given any special or unique powers. So Mana Brew on Twitch TV wants to know if this is like League of Legends, but first person. Um, obviously it's third person, but would you say it's pretty comparable to League of Legends? Uh-oh, have we lost? Yes, it is, but I, I think we lost... Uh... Oh, laggy, hello. Uh -oh. Sorry about that. But uh, High res Duke um, is, the, is the community manager.
And of course, if I go into the store, you can see there's lots of different things oh, yeah. to buy. Um, I actually really appreciate that there's sort of a, a basic um, list of items that if you put it on auto, it'll, it'll more or less give you things that help your particular god. And, and having played several gods An now, <laughs> high res Duke isn't so great, I see. He's evening the teams. Pretty much, he's just making sure that um, there aren't uneven teams. I am grateful to you, High Res Duke. It's worth pointing out that this game comes from the same folks that brought us Tribes Ascend. Um, so these are guys that know fun. Suggesting that you pay a little more attention to using your ultimate, which I assume would be your spirit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I needed to uh, pay more attention with that because usually you're only going to want to use that when you're up against uh, other other gods. Yeah. Um, and yesterday I was kicking ass. I could get I could get double kills that way. There we go. An ally has been slain. Someone's asking if the guys who made Tribes Ascend also made Global Agenda. I res, you know. Uh, yes, I believe Global Agenda and Tribes Ascend and Smite are their babies. So we have J.K. Kennedy in the Twitch TV chat suggesting that this game kind of focuses on push more than defense. Are you finding that if you, uh, you know, kind of push hard that it, you generally don't need to worry about defense too much as long as you're oh, trying to I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 That's what I mean! That's the thing he does! That makes me hate that god oh, so the much! Oh, the monkey? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well... I escaped death just in time for to come bail me out. I'll head back and... Uh, Is that the correct, correct pronunciation? I'm pretty sure that I'm mispronouncing. <laughs> and yeah, people mentioning uh, that items are tiered. So yeah, you can, you can continue to buy better versions of the same item. In this case, like I'm on tier 3 Breastplate of Valor, uh, tier, tier 3 for Pythagoras Peace. That's and all so the stuff that's so been forth. upgrading as you go back to your tower? Yeah. Okay. And again, thanks for joining us. This is uh, GameSpot playing Smite. And this is uh, an upcoming MOBA, currently in closed beta, coming from High res Studios. Very talented guys that brought, brought us Tribe to Send most recently. Someone's asking if a pre-order will get you into the beta, as far yes. as you know? Yes. yes. But we'll also be giving away codes today. And I'm sure that, like, high level... So there you go, it is a, it is a MOBA, so... You are retard. That's... so... <laughs> it, but it's nice, like, generally speaking, the community in this game has been... pretty, uh... Pretty respectful while I've been playing, even even when I'm not playing that well. There we go. I've destroyed the tower, so we have made I have made some headway. It's like your team did pretty well. And uh, my ultimate doing a nice bit of damage there. Okay, getting out of here. Come back and get some minions to kind of shield me where I need shielding. 
Again, I'm very happy to, to keep this guy over here busy while my teammates do some pushing over on the side, over in the, the, the right An lane in particular. The middle lane looks like not a whole lot going on up yeah. there. Not much. Oh, misplaced that cyclone a little bit. I'll try to come back, catch up with uh, other minions. Oh, my ultimate didn't do me much good that time. That's all right. So somebody's asking if there's really a difference between League of Legends and Smite beyond the, the perspective. Can you elaborate on that, if there are? I mean, there are always very, very differences when it when it comes to that kind of stuff. Okay. An enemy has been slain. Sorry about the, if the you were delay. To, if you were to pinpoint one major difference between the two games, what do you think it would be? Oh, gosh. It doesn't even have to be big. It could be small. Well, I think that the, the idea of active uh, bases is certainly a nice big thing. You mean the um, Minotaur? Yeah, I like the fact that the, the, the Minotaur fights back. That's It's such a small thing, but it, it, it does make me feel like I'm really involved in things, and I'm actually protecting, um, as opposed to just a static base, I'm actually protecting a real entity. You're very attached to your Minotaur, is what you're saying. I'm so attached <laughs> to my Minotaur, I, I hope that hi -res makes Minotaur plushies. <laughs> And I realize that it seems like, oh, it's just a perspective change and that's it. But that really does make a whole lot of difference in how I'm, like, I feel like, like, one big thing is I feel like I'm, I'm actively involved in getting out of the way of, of attacks. You know, if, I, if, a, if a, a cone shows up that indicates that I'm about to be destroyed, then, uh, the high res guy likes your idea. Then I like the feeling that... There we go. She's a real beast too with that that particular attack. A little bit of a waste there, but How do you feel about the general tower strength compared to League of Legends? Do they seem to fall easier? They... It strikes me that they do tend to fall a little bit easier as long as you've got... As long as there's a focused attack. Okay. If, I, if I'm out there kind of doing my own thing, then it, it can end up feeling like a bit of a stalemate. But that's not usually the case. This stage, I feel like I'm I'm kind of buying time until, until my my ultimate powers up. But I'm hoping Mr. Monkey. You are after. Okay, I was wasted too, but that's all right. I'm gonna be heading back to base soon to. He's occupied enough on in his own territory that I think I can head back. There we go, and uh, Gem of Isolation, which is which is great. A little bit more power, a little bit more health, a little bit more defense. So a nice kind of all-rounder. This part looks like no one has gotten, obviously, to your Minotaur. Have, I can't tell, does it look like their icon has been... We're doing well. We're actually pushing in yeah. extremely well. Yeah. Yeah. destroyed a right enemy tower. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little bit of a boost here. Put some creeps. Give me that health boost. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. 
Res Duke up there. Again, uh, the game's community manager has graciously found my game and has inserted himself in An to make sure that the teams were slain. balanced. Oh, hello. Yeah, today, today's match full of a few more loud mouths than I'm used to in this particular. <laughs> oh, shit. Part of my French. Uh, oh, man! Nothing adds insult to injury like a bunch of party streamers and confetti. <laughs> oh. oh, crud. <laughs> oh, I knew it was coming. Oh, no. <laughs> and yeah, if, thanks for joining us. Playing, We're playing the Smite closed beta. And, you know, it's interesting. You know, of course, now I have a, a minute to respawn. But at least we can watch other people do their thing. And respawns aren't so so slow early in the game, clearly, um, but they get longer and longer as you as you go. And it doesn't have anything to do with me, like like not like like this is my first death in the match at least. Yeah. So it's it's not it's not longer because like I've had more and more deaths and so it gets longer and longer. You've been doing a fairly good job. Everything I can tell. Yeah, I'm not I'm not an expert, but I I know enough to hold my own when I need to. So, Your left tower has been destroyed. so people say, yeah, it, it's worth Your mentioning, if you pre-order, you have 15 gods available instead of five, which is what you get with regular beta key. And of course, you can use real money as well as what you get in-game to, you know, to get more, you know, skins. They're, they're more than just gods, they're skins and other things An that come along as well. So yeah, I'm now at uh, tier three with my first main. Uh... <laughs> so once in every playing bad on purpose. All right, got a, got another kill. <laughs> it's worth nice pointing job. out. You have slain an enemy. All right, I'm heading back to my lane. Oh. An enemy has been slain. So I really, really, and there's another reason why I don't like some of the gods as well as others. Like that particular, I always know what's going on there because that's that's basically a, a set of mines that's been laid, but you can always see it. So it's pretty easy to avoid. The only time that you're not apt to avoid it is when you're when you're backing up like this and you don't see what's what's coming. Do you find the perspective makes things a little bit harder compared to other mobiles? It, in the sense that sometimes, like like in an action game, I might be tempted. That is one of those circumstances where, like, I'm I'm coming back, I might not see what's behind me. So you right. don't get that full view. You get a lot, you know, a greater view of what's ahead of you, but not necessarily what's behind you. And of course, the cyclone better for groups of groups of minions than, than it is. For uh, a god, for enemy gods, yeah. Oh, and skins are not available for purchase yet. It is worth pointing that out. But I will in the next match. I will play a different god. Do you have one in mind? Um, I've played. There are three particular gods that I've that I've enjoyed playing as, even though An enemy has been 
Okay. Wasted that. But there are, uh... I like playing Artemis. Not because... She doesn't feel particularly powerful, but I do enjoy... I do enjoy ranged damage characters, probably more than most other gods. Your team has destroyed See the archer you are Yes. I also like playing uh, Anubis. Even though his ultimate is uh, a little hard to pull off. He's got basically this laser, but he stays in place while he spews off this laser. And so you can be really vulnerable. Whereas with Al Kuang, I'm not vulnerable when I pull off my ultimate. So Phoenix can help you on your side, but also attack you? <laughs> oh, crap! Okay, I did some damage at least, but... Ah! I am crushed! <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna happen. So yeah, but that's that's kind of the danger. I was out there on my own, I should've... I should've you know, got my tail out of there when I knew that I was going to be sort of overpowered by multiple heroes at once. I keep saying heroes, I should say gods, right, that would be more yeah. appropriate. I have to distinguish, this is not League of Legends. Um, the, uh, let's see here. So the Phoenix, on the other team's side, it can damage you, and I'm assuming on your, on your side, it, is that where you revive? I, yeah, well, when you revive, you revive back at the base. You'll see in, in just a moment, but... I don't believe there's high res Maybe somebody, maybe Duke can mention this, but I don't know if the the Phoenix is actually. Do they attack? I don't remember ever being damaged by a Phoenix, but I've certainly been damaged by a tower. So some excitement going on there. At least I get to watch from uh, other players, from teammates' points of view. So someone's asking, is this game going to be out on consoles? And I'm pretty sure the answer is no, no. to that, right? I, I can't imagine. Yeah. Although, you know, consoles are now getting into that sort of MOBA space with Awesome Knots. It's true, yeah. So, and you've played some Awesome Knots and seem to have really enjoyed it. I did. It, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, it is, the, you know, the genre itself still seems a little young. Um, obviously, there's, you know, you got League of Legends, you have this, you have Dota. There's some strong personalities among the group of games. Um, and we're going to be interested to see where it goes in a few years. Yeah. Personally, like I, I'm, I'm not totally hooked yet. I don't think it's got. Maybe it's not a genre that I'm going to like, but there's, there's nothing yet that's really hooked me. So. I'd really like to see. I mean, I think a part of it is it's a very focused genre right now. It's yeah. very focused on one thing, a few maps, a lot of, a lot of items. You know that sort of thing. And I have slain, so not always too bad. This game. But one thing I would like to see from this genre ultimately is sort of a, you know, a break into, you know, a full campaign. Like, I'd like to see a full single player game like this. And somebody recently said to me, well, isn't that kind of what Warcraft 3 is? <laughs> um, not really, in the sense that Warcraft 3 is a full-fledged strategy. Oh, crap. I don't want to be out here all alone because there is conglomeration of gods. In fact, I may head over into my own normal lane. So you've played this over the weekend, right? I did play some over the weekend, yes. How long would a typical match last? Would you say it's pretty common for MOBAs? Yeah, they, they can last pretty long um, in terms of what you expect from, you know, not necessarily the genre, but from a competitive game in general. Like, I would say that um, they've been averaging on 45 minutes for me. So yeah, once you start a match, you're probably going to be, you should probably be ready to be committed to it. Obviously. Because it could be 45 <laughs> minutes, it could be an hour. I mean, if you've got... No, pardon me. But if you've got, um, you know, two pretty evenly matched teams, then you could get stalemates that last for a little bit of time. Yeah. 
All right, I'm I'm headed back here. It's it's time to be more defensive. I think that that may be where I sort of fall off in terms of enjoying mobas. Is I I can like a like you know a really long involved match, but when you hit that stalemate, it's just it becomes more about perseverance, I think. But there's always that moment then that you you see where the tables turn. Yeah, where the yeah. tables turn, and that might happen soon. I think that we now have. All right, I went in there, did a little bit of damage. Somebody's suggesting that we surrender and start the next match. I don't want to surrender quite yet. It, it, it seems like we are on our way to defeat, but I don't like the idea of surrendering just yet. Even though, oh, see. <laughs> Our Minotaur is under attack, so yeah. I don't think we're gonna need to, uh... He's, he's doing a good job of defending himself. Yeah, but he's... he's well, yeah, For he's, a Minotaur, he can be pretty squishy. Yeah, he is taking some damage. Yeah. Alright, I've gotten a double kill in there. I'm getting out of the way. Oh. Yeah, that was that was pretty much a, a done deal. Yeah, we're, we're crushed this stage. So yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna chime in for a yes to surrender. So you're gonna play as next, Artemis? Anubis? I will play as Artemis next, right. I think. Oh, we've agreed to not surrender. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the minority, so we will we will play this out. <laughs> and we're done, there we go. <laughs> of course it was the monkey. See, you almost want to surrender rather than see the heartbreaking moment where your powerful Minotaur falls on his face. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take a look and see uh, see how things work. The scoreboard we'll look at. So someone's asking when we're going to start giving these keys away. Would you It'll be all day. I mean, it's, it's already started. It's already started. So yeah. And on Twitter, I'm FiddleCub. You can follow the GameSpot account. And somebody's saying first match is fun. I really like the game. And I agree, it's fun. Um, I think it's a fun formula, and I think that this is taken into a really nice territory. Um, I actually did um, not not bad. Um, I wasn't at top. I had five kills, three deaths. But I definitely uh, earned enough to make me feel like I wasn't uh, I wasn't a lost cause there. So I'm gonna return to the lobby. And I've acquired a thousand favor, I've gone up a level, and that makes me happy. Because of course, like most games like this, there's also the, the metagame in terms of leveling up and, and earning favor, and you know, we'll see how far this goes. Like, because this is in closed beta, not all of the, all of the features are, yeah. are in yet, but, you know, we'll go ahead and try it again. Is that how Carol spells her Twitter, Twitter handle? It's Carol and Michelle. Yes, that's okay. absolutely right. And now I feel bad for, for Mr. High Res because now I'm not sure. Here we go, social. And we'll go ahead and play with friends. In this case, I will invite High Res Duke to come along for the ride. Hi, Duke. Thanks for joining in. He's the community manager at High Res playing Smite with me. So let's go ahead. Let's party. Let's party, exactly. <laughs> We've joined the queue. All right. And this time, I, I think what I'll do is I'll play Anubis this time. I feel like Al Kuang is right now my strongest god, so I make no promises for how well I do <laughs> in, in the upcoming games, but we'll see. Right. So again, you guys are watching uh, Smite, it's an upcoming MOBA game made by High res Studios, the guys behind uh, Tribes. Yeah. And uh, we'll be giving out keys later on today, and I think we've already started, perhaps on the GameSpot Twitter mm -hmm. handle. We have, and, as, and, and the rest of us too, um, my Twitter handle is FiddleCub, um, Carolyn's Carolyn Michelle, Sean is S. McInnes, 
Chris's CT Waters will all be giving this stuff out today, as well as the, the official GameSpot Twitter account. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitch TV, which is twitch.tv slash GameSpot, mm -hmm. if you're not already there. And uh, we're also, all of us as team members, usually it's twitch.tv slash, and our full name in all lowercase letters. Um, I stream stuff all the time. I need to get on that train. I need to start yeah. doing that. I think our first project was uh, solidified this morning, actually, just before I hopped on here. I think Sean, Carolyn, and I will hop on and do a original MSX Metal Gear stream at some point in the near future. Oh, that would be super fun. Yeah. Um, I've been playing Half-Life 2 for a few hours here and there. Nice. Um, in fact, I really want to do like an official Half-Life uh, marathon, marathon. Yeah. Um, by the end of the month. We should. So, and I, I was actually playing this last night, but every so often, like, I'm just, when I have time to play games for fun, which I'm not saying happens that often because <laughs> it doesn't, but when I do try to play games for fun, I like to have people come along for the ride just because it's fun to yeah. be social. I've been forcing myself to, to play games. Like, when I feel like I've reached my peak in terms of maximum number of game hours in a day, usually taken up by work, I've been forcing myself to kind of squeeze in um, old favorites, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, the one thing that I usually don't stream, or what I'll do is I'll just stream it, but I won't do commentary, because I usually like to talk while I play. But if it's a game that needs my attention, or if it's a game that's story heavy and I really want to know what's going on, yeah. um, usually I'll just stream that without adding my two cents. But usually I like to stick on the, usually I like to stick on the headset, talk about what I'm doing, um, especially if it's a game I've played before, like Half-Life 2. I think it's really fun yeah. to talk about what makes those games awesome or what makes another game not so great and, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah. So I'm still playing the, so I'm still waiting in, in the queue. So it can take a little bit and especially because it's it's two of us so it's we're waiting to be matched into the same game together. Well, truthfully, he's the community manager. He should totally put you guys at the front of the line. Just saying. <laughs> I don't think he's got necessarily <laughs> that much control. And he's level 11, I'm only level five. So I've still got, yeah. obviously I've still got a lot to prove. Yeah. Um, especially as a not hardcore mobile player. Again, I, I love the genre, um, but it's hard to, you know, people don't talk about this a lot as, as video game like journalists slash critics and so on. Here we go. We don't get the chance to become experts in any one game most of the it's time. It's tough, yeah. You kind of get pigeonholed into this category of people who should be amazing at every game that crosses their their desk and as it were right. and uh, yeah it's tough our schedules are pretty stringent in terms of how, how deep we can get into a particular title yeah and so then you know I'm not necessarily the best at any given thing that I'm playing yeah, even yeah. though there are games that I that I can be really good at yeah. it's one of those things where you know and people will watch and stream saying oh my god you suck at this well you know a lot of times it's because we're picking up a game we haven't played for five years and playing it for the first time and letting you watch. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I kind of do suck right now. But. <laughs> That's the trade-off with our job, but I personally yeah. wouldn't, I w I wouldn't trade it though. You know, I mean, we get to experience so many awesome things. First all, world all problem, time. right? Yes. Yeah. That phrase has been thrown around quite a bit in my world in the past week. <laughs> yeah, mine too, actually. <laughs> but it, it is very true. It's, it's one of those things where um, we we're generalists, so we know yeah. a lot about lots of different games, but we're not necessarily what? competitive battle, uh, like Call of Duty players or... Yeah, I mean, I think among us there are individuals, you know, I think maybe, I think I'd say every one of us has our strong suits, where we definitely yeah. do kind of, um, you know, our prowess is easier to, to, to see. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, for me personally, like MOBA's kind of interested, but really haven't had the time to to get too involved in. So Death Gaze is my uh, my my super here. Um, the problem with Death Gaze for me, it's not a problem necessarily. Is it's a drawback in, in my particular play style, is that when that happens, I'm I'm immobilized. Well, I can turn, but I can't get out of the way unless I you cancel. Were about? Right. Yeah. So I can't, but I can. You know, I have to cancel. I'm gonna go down the left lane. So hopefully that means that uh, high res will join me. I'm calling Duke high res now. <laughs> Duke, you just you're just responsible for everything. Yeah, for everything at high res now. If I don't like something, I'm just going to assume that you were responsible or irresponsible, as the case may be. So, but 
It looks like uh, Vizard is going to join. Uh, Vlizzard is going to join me. That's that's great. Or is it Vizard? I can't tell. Oh, it's V I I Z A R D. Vizard. So we will we will be together, cool. and uh, Duke can go off and probably take the the middle or the right lane. These are doing some scouting over here. Nothing's happening yet. Um, our minions haven't spawned, and and nobody's gonna. The game hasn't even started. It's still got five seconds to go, but. Yesterday I played with with somebody who clearly didn't really know what the genre did, <laughs> and just ran into our base and a turret immediately annihilated him. Yeah, <laughs> I felt so bad because I was like, we, you know, there's always that starting point <laughs> where he's like, I don't know anything about this game. Here I go. I'm just gonna go out and see what I'm supposed to do, and then he goes out and does that, and immediately. Thank God for Vizard out there scouting to see what's going on. I'm gonna be a little more straightforward. Right now I've got like my grasping hands. Which uh, does some damage over time and also slows enemies down for a time. Better for minions than for enemy heroes. But is God's the official term for this game? I think so, Versus yes. heroes or champions? Yeah, I, I tend to do that because it's such the typical I wasn't passively aggressively telling you not to. I was, no, I, I know, was curious, I know. yeah. No, I didn't think that you were being passive aggressive. I mean, not this time. Viewers at home, do you have any questions for Kevin and I about Smite? Okay, right. and I just He's tried like to more experience than I, but yeah. honest. And I, a... I just tried to use my mummification on a on an enemy uh, god, but unfortunately, I missed. There we go. Now he's mummified briefly, which takes him a little bit out of things. I'm going to take this opportunity to head back to base. Hopefully Vizard can keep them busy long enough. And my auto upgrade got me uh, Boots of Celerity. That's good for... Uh, oops. Get him up. Okay, now I just wasted those few moments. What's the resource that you, you spend? Do you, do you acquire that just from killing minions and Yeah, it's, it's your basic mana. Okay. So you basically got your health and your mana bars. It might be called something different, it may be called power. Um, but you've got your, your health and your, your, your power bar down there to, to keep an eye on. I need to actually use that particular power a little bit better because it's it's better used in it's a support power. You know, I'm not going to do any any real damage that way. Oh, and I forgot the name of that ice god. He can be a real pain too because he can summon this big wall of ice, <laughs> and it gets to be real tough. <laughs> Because then he'll hem you in place. Okay, Vizard's off, so I'm gonna try to cover the lane on my own. But I'm still I, trying to wrap my head around these minions. Are, are they attached to any god in particular, or do they just? They just automatically from your tower? spawn, and they they spawn the both the minions on both spawn sides spawn in the same basic patterns. Okay, so it's not based on your performance. No, that's kind of okay. Can you upgrade stuff so you can have more minions or stronger minions? That's a, that's common in in most. MOBAs, I haven't seen that here. Maybe okay. maybe somebody at high res can clarify if they're in the chat. Um, but I haven't seen any base upgrades, only hero upgrades. Or I should say god upgrades. These are just back, and I feel more comfortable. On that time my mummification hits. And now Death Gaze is available to me but I don't know that I'm gonna be 
that did with it. Again, it... Pretty good. There we go. Oh, see, but then he does yeah. that. Yep. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh shit. Like I'm doing now. Leave. Well, I'm having more fun watching you play as Anubis than <laughs> <laughs> that was that was surprising. Um, my poor Vizard friend um, just had his ass. I'm gonna try to hang out just for a minute until Vizard can come back before because right now I'm kind of stuck with my not useless, but not exactly powerful standard attack. Which is fine for minions, not so fine against gods. Oh, crap! Okay, but at least I can... Ah! Yep. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Vizard. You are excellent at what you do. And I am grateful. And now it looks like we've gotten some help over in the left lane. Thank you, hi -Rez. I'm gonna head... The middle is having some trouble on the other hand. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay, I'm retreating, I'm retreating. So I think a part of me really, like, I really do enjoy RTS games, which I can't say MOBA really falls into that category, but it no. seems, no, but it seems reminiscent of some of the ideas and, and the concepts. But it, I just feel like it, it's almost, there's some, some elements stripped away to where, and those are the elements that I like right. in RTS. Oh man, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Incoming left. It's worth pointing out that you can use the V key to pull up um, quick, quick commands for your teammates. Okay, I got some. My ultimate did some nice damage there, at least. Oh, crap! And then I wasted that because Duke and I, Duke and I did a, a nice minion killing. One thing I haven't done is like my my B breathing. Your B breathing? Yeah, my 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 power. It's called uh, Plague of Locusts. So I basically breathe bees. Oh, I see. I see. I thought you were saying like I be breathing, man, or like no. <laughs> we be breathing. <laughs> I be breathing. No, <laughs> no. Okay. Retreat middle lane. The chat rooms have run quiet. Wow. It's because they're so... <laughs> Everyone's they're so impressed. So ganking... Oh, hold on. Ganking the right lane. I'll, I'll gank the right lane. I'll gank the shit out of the right lane. You watch me gank. So let's see, Jaxith here in the GameSpot chat has been playing the game for a couple weeks. Um, yeah. But he seems to be very intrigued by what we're doing. He suggests that perhaps try using your mummification spell and then follow it with your ultimate, which is a good idea. Yeah. Like, come down to God and yeah, it's deal some the one the one bad thing about something like this is that I haven't had so much time. That I always know exactly how to fit stuff together, although that's, you know, that's obviously... Oh, this is a pretty logical stuff. Yeah. yeah.
So yeah, thanks for the tip on that one, because I like Al Kwong the most. <laughs> Easily. Just because it's it's a it's a very straightforward method of play for me. It's the I'm going to the left lane. It's uh It's basically just in attack get out, in attack get out. Like I like that kind of speedy Kind Some, of gameplay. Someone here is saying they're about to download the uh, the beta and start playing. Is there one character I know your favorite would be Al Kong, but a good starting character just to kind of get used to the game? Your recommendation? Enemy um, I'd say he's a good start. He's a, Al Kong is a good start. Yeah, Al Kong I think is a good start. Um, but I would also say, oh gosh, I forget the name of the monkey god. He's, he's a little tougher, but holy cow, can he really turn the tide? Oh. <laughs> oh, darn it, missed. Oh, well. Yeah, and again, I'm not... I am not a high-class mobile player by any stretch, but I do enjoy the genre a lot, so I'm glad we got a chance to, to show this game today. Okay, apparently Jester Smile says that monkey's name is Wukong. Wukong, thank you! Wukong. I just call him the monkey god because he makes me... <laughs> He makes me sad. <laughs> he seriously makes me sad explain? because <laughs> because his his uh, fear thing is just remarkably rough. An ally has been slain. That time also my mummification helped because somebody was under attack. An enemy has been oh, slain. they slayed each An other. That's always fun. Someone also suggests our Twitch chat might be down. Oh, get out of there. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it came up right on top of me. Okay. Hello. Come help. I'm screwed. Your middle tower is <laughs> under attack. Okay, that's it. Down I go. Down you go. I saw it coming. I probably should have been so aggressive. Well, this is a good part, actually, a good point for me to go grab Dan and see if he can fix the Twitch chat. Oh, yeah. See what down. While Peter does that, I will watch slow mo do his thing. And meanwhile, my rod, right more magical enemy. power, more magical damage per second. And Peter will be back. The wonder that is Peter Brown. Alright, tower is down at least. Oh!
Oh crap! Get it! Oh, bad time to pull that one off. Oh, again. Okay, that was just me being bad. This is the <laughs> point where I'm, where I, where I truly know that that was just me being bad. Well, you know, it's lunchtime. You're, it is lunchtime. Sure I'm just hungry. a little hungry. Yeah. Is that what it is? That's what it is for me. Play that. Um, but yeah, I think our Twitch chat is down for the moment. The stream seems to be okay, but chat is down. Sorry about that, everybody. Our in-house Twitch TV expert is nowhere to be found at the moment. Okay, Duke is pushing left. I will head out to join him. Yeah, and I think that's going to be the trick with Anubis, is making sure that you're using the mummification better, because you've got two, two different abilities that hold you in place. Your right tower is under attack. What kind of range does that attack have? An ally has it's been slain. pretty medium range. There are ranged attacks in the game that have, that definitely have more range. Your middle tower is under attack. Towers down. Crap. Oh, hi. I'll just move over here. Thank you. Hooray for Duke. We are retreating, gracefully retreating. An ally has been slain. Okay, Duke has headed back. So there we go, I finally... Ah! I hope Duke comes back down the left lane. Cause I could use a, <laughs> I could use a breather. I'll just assume he's gonna. Oh, mummy is over. Mum, mum pits. Somebody's over there. Mum pits. That is a great online name. Like mummy pits. Like mummy the pits. armpits of a mummy. I bet you it's really dry. I would guess so. So is that a compliment? I'd say, wow, you've got great mummy pits. <laughs> to something. Uh. Hmm. No? <laughs> you don't seem very... Uh, you don't seem convinced. It seems our Twitch chat is indeed down. Yeah, sorry about that. Twitch is down. That's, that's a thing that happens with Twitch. off to do his thing. I'm gonna wait for some minions to come up my way so I'm not stuck completely undefended. Enemy missing right! Cancel that. Cancel that. Enemy is not actually missing right. <laughs>
tower go down? Okay, gotta get out of there. Yay, tower's down. Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. Your team has destroyed a right enemy tower. So some good news coming. Two towers down around the same time. I'm gonna come back and see what Mummy Pits is up to to hopefully we can uh, sort of stick in the same general area. I think he is dealing with some... I'll give him a hand. Okay, he doesn't need a hand. He was off with some creeps. Oh crap, not what I meant to hit. That's all right. So who is this ice guy? You know which god it is? I forget his name. He and Wu Kuang. Wu Kuang, I forget his Wu name. Wu Kong? Yeah. Whoever the monkey god is, definitely my nemesis in this game. Your nemesis. Your, yeah, my, <laughs> my nemesis. <laughs> I need a bit of a refresher. Potion and Height of Leviathan, which gives me physical and magic protection as well as a boost in health and mana. So, plus, probably a good time to get out of there. So, you, you usually rely on the, the auto upgrade? Has there ever been a time where. Not it's, always, yeah. I do sometimes. For the sake of the stream, I'm trying yeah. to just be a little more focused on action than yeah. I am on spending time in menus. But. So and yeah, I might play more um, on my personal Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Kevin Van Ord. Oh, missed with my mummification. have to tell me twice. <laughs> Always listen to the Duke. The Duke is my man. Hey there, Pilgrim. <laughs> Hi, Mum Pits. That was a terrible Duke impression. It really went bad. Thank you. But I know that's what you were going for, so in that sense, <laughs> you, you were a success. <laughs> I didn't give him my all, which is shaming the Duke, I realize. But not high yeah, res Duke. No, middle. no, no. Okay, everybody's moving over to the right. An enemy has been okay, I'm heading over to the right. <laughs> because I am being chased. Hi, hi, Res Duke. 
Aha. Oh crap. Enemies incoming right. The, ba the bad news about something like that is that you definitely can get stuck in a bad situation. Oh, like that! Like life. Yep. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> when you get into those those little pathways in between lanes, yeah. you definitely can get stuck in terrible situations like the one that I just opened myself up to. See, I'm much better with Alquan than I am with Anubis. Because the speed? I like Alquan's speed. It's, it's kind of my thing. I'll only wait for 30 seconds, we can see just how bad I am doing in this particular match. Retreat! You stop. It's like Twitch is still down, unfortunately. Yeah, I feel really bad about that. Have you, uh, reloaded? Yeah. Ah. Uh, let's watch Empath. See, I haven't played, I forget the name of this god. He's He's got a fan and he's got a form where he becomes basically giant. But I think he's, I think he's melee, and I haven't really played around with uh, kind of a melee get in the fray character yeah. yet. I'm anxious to. It's something that I'm interested in doing. I just haven't gotten there. And here's hoping I don't run in. Into somebody I don't want to run into. Okay, I see that that dude's up there, the guy playing the ice god. I'm not quite ready for that yet on my own, but it looks like we've hung back. Push right hard. Good job, Duke. And there's what I mean, his oh, uh, wow. his giant form. Yeah. Is oh, so he's got like a parasite. Truly giant. Good job for going after the fire giant. Alright, here we go. Push on the tower, wait for the minions to get in there, and then boom. Power is toast. You guys may have this. Maybe. Oh yeah, the, the Phoenix does attack back. By the time I'm usually at the Phoenix, though, usually the Phoenix is crushed. Well, they they have we killed a bunch of them all at one time. That's they're all waiting to respawn. Yeah. yeah. It's fair to say you guys may have this. Oh, that guardian of the game. <laughs> oh uh, man, see that was my that was my bad. I got too close. But I think that we are well on our way to victory. Even though I'm clearly much better with Alquan than I am with Anubis. What are we anyway? Uh, it's twelve twenty right now. It's twelve twenty. Well, that means. The stream will probably come to an end soon. After after starting strong and me ending a little bit weaker, but it's still fun to kind of watch what goes on, even when I'm not in the mix, because things can start getting super hectic. And Duke has yeah. got nowhere to go. <laughs> and a good team will actually do that. They'll corner you, and when you get that ice god in there, really rough. Because he will hem you in. Tables have turned.
Yes. I'm heading to the left lane. Hey, damn, looks like the Twitch TV chat is down. Okay. Yeah, when Twitch stuff is down, there's nothing we can really do about it, sadly. Mm. Your left tower is under attack. Oh, I tried to attack. Here's my ultimate, I didn't quite get there. Ah. Good job, Duke. Duke leading the way. You guys are looking pretty good again. An enemy has been slain. Oh. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, oh yeah, oh, just he not did. showing off my best gameplay. He totally ate it. <laughs> yep. Get out while the getting is good, especially when it's so clear they're leading you into a trap, right? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, somebody pointing out too the the fire giant. There is a there is a great buff that you get from killing the fire giant. And some nice XP for it too. All right. So slow mo is playing as hell, who I have not played yet, but looking like uh, maybe a good possibility for for the future for me. I, I I kind of like what I see. Giant baby always gets me. Well, that giant baby has a name, <laughs> and the name is Vamana. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right, I don't remember it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and again, thanks for joining us playing Smite at GameSpot. Um, I'm not the, the finest MOBA player, and I've been playing Smite for some hours, but Retreat! nobody's gonna... Nobody would ever accuse me of being an expert on the genre, <laughs> necessarily, or the best Smite player, but it's super fun. And I miss... I miss my usual, my usual god. Attack, fire giant! Is that the fire giant? Yes, that is the fire giant. You better get him. This is pretty typical for MOBAs to have these kind of, these sort of benign enemies to take down. Yeah, usually, you know, most, uh, most MOBAs have some kind of creeps. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. You can see this game is, uh, 
as fun, less fun, or more fun than League of Legends? Or Dota? Oh gosh, I don't know that I'm qualified. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I, I want to say that quite yet. I think that they're both fun in their own way. I don't want to say that this is more fun or less fun. to get away from here. If I can, I should have gone around. Oh, that would... See, this is what I mean by me being stupid. <laughs> the first game I did so good, and now I'm just stupidly, like, running behind them. I should have just gotten out of the way. I think it's hunger time. Is it hunger at this it's point? Ugh. So I started so well. I'm playing Al Kwong. I'm doing good. We get in there. And now... It's okay. It's the Anubis curse. It's all right. That, I mean, that, that's a MOBA for you, right? Sometimes you win, sometimes you win. Sometimes you're good and sometimes you're bad. Yeah. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to follow along with Mumpits, who I think just has the best username. See, I let down my team really bad there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little embarrassed by that. It's, that character model is just... It's the best. That umbrella, though, is really great. I'm going to get some food here pretty soon. See if I can yeah, it's going to be... Oh! Poor Mumpits. Yeah. <laughs> People are looking for keys. I'm sure once we're off here, we'll be giving them out in regular frequency. Yeah, we'll be giving them away on Twitter, especially um, the GameSpot Twitter account, our personal Twitter accounts. Um, so you definitely want to give this game a try. Uh, it's, it's absolutely worth it. So I think I might step out and see if I can't find someone to drink. I need to get some food before I faint. Yeah, we're almost done here. Peter is gone. He saddens me. He just doesn't have the same the same dedication, I guess. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> well, wait, now that we're we're basically being destroyed, I'm gonna we're gonna close the the street. There we go. So <laughs> so I'm sorry I didn't show off my better my better assets in the second game. First game pretty good. Second game not so much. But thanks for joining in. Um, you definitely want to keep an eye on um, the 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 Twitch. Uh, the GameSpot, or I should say the Twitter feeds for GameSpot, as well as me, I'm FiddleCub on Twitter, we'll be giving away keys to the closed beta for Smite. You should definitely grab one, game's super fun, um, even if you're not that good, do it, having a great time. Um, also, you can um, follow Carol and Michelle, um, you can follow CT Waters, who else is giving away keys? Somebody else is giving away keys, S. McInnes as well. Um, but uh, make sure to uh, tune in for some, some keys. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Now Play. In this case, Smite will be playing Endless Space later this week. We'll be playing Battlefield Close Quarters later this week. And we will be playing Smash Bros. Champions later this week, which is another MOBA. So thanks a lot. Super fun to have you guys joining in. And we will talk to you later. Bye.